Hey guys, welcome to the Dave Darren Show. I'm irritated, pissed, fucking pissed off at, at Facebook. I'm angry at Facebook. I want to talk about Facebook. I want to talk about why I'm angry with these guys. Of course, there's a complete lack of response from them. Complete lack of response. I'm going to play a video. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my rant against Facebook. And maybe they're going to get, they're probably going to get rid of this video too. So anyone that wants to see how Facebook treats people, Let's see it. I'm going to do this rant and rave against Facebook. Of course, no one's listening. And the reason no one's listening is because no one can see this post because I'm blocked. I'm probably still blocked. I'm assuming I'm still blocked. Let's get to this. I'm going to play a video here. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to rant against Facebook. I tagged these bastards too. So maybe they'll and maybe they'll block me and ban me the rest of the way. And that's okay with me because I consider them, I consider them irrelevant, unpatriotic, and just a pain in the ass group of people who who act who operate invisibly, completely invisibly. You never see these guys. Never never respond. Nothing. So I'm gonna play a video here. I think I'm gonna play a video. Yeah, here we go. Black Valentine, Dave Darren Show. Black Valentine,
gonna stop this. I'm gonna flip this over so you can guys can see my face and you can see what I'm gonna today. I got three people here viewing the show. Three people. By the way, you guys, please share this show. Please share it because I'll tell you what I can't do. I can't share the show anymore. I can't share it. And here's the reason why. There's multiple reasons here why. Multiple reasons. I'm going to give you two reasons why. Maybe I'll throw a third in there. What the number one reason why is because the guys that come on my show, you don't share the show. You don't promote the show. You don't help out the integrity, the perpetuation of effort to make the show grow. And, and what that does is it makes your show, your appearance on the show totally and completely irrelevant. I mean, there's no reason to be on the show if you don't shout out that you're on the show. Otherwise, who's going to hear the efforts that you put in to being on the show and spending an hour with me? Why would you do that? I don't understand that. So what happens is I've got this I've a couple people here listening. A couple people, which is ridiculous. It's insane. Fucking insane. Two people listening in here. But here's what happened. I do the show. I promote the show. I get on all of these. And don't worry. There's going to be new material for you. You guys have said, Dave, you said this shit already. There's going to be something new here at the end. Because I'm going to ream out Facebook as well. In fact, I'm going to promote my show, Reaming Out Facebook. I'm going to promote it and see if they cut it off based upon me promoting my dislike for Facebook. But to get back to the bands, what I said is I promote the show. I promote you guys on all the groups, like 100 groups. 100 groups I promoted you guys on, 100 of them. I spent time doing the show promoting you guys. I get on all of the groups. I copy and paste the material of who's on the show, who the band is, the material you guys are going to play sometimes, a little description about you guys, if I could fit it in there. And to join the show, and I put the URL for the Facebook Live show because they don't give you an opportunity to grab their web address before the show airs. So I got to wait till the show airs to do that, which is insane too. Just give you the friggin' link ahead of time so you can promote it ahead of time, right? The, isn't there technology you guys have to know how to do that? No? Get new people hired there. So you know what happens? I promote it. Phil promotes it of rock solid talent entertainment. Cool as hell, dude. Involved with some great kick-ass bands. And he promotes it. And he promotes it on all the groups just like I do. All the groups he promotes them on. All the Facebook groups, we both get blocked. We get banned because everyone thinks we're spam. And I said the reason why is because Phil and me promote it. So it looks like a commercial. Like I said before, if you got email... From two lunatics completely constantly, constantly bombarding you, just two of us, you're going to block or you're going to put us in the spam mail section, right? If you got about 200 people saying, check out the Dave Darren show or check out a product by some company, then you would say, oh, let's check this out. There's 200 of my friends are interested in it. Maybe it's legitimate. It's not two people. It's 200. Let's see if it's legitimate. So because of your lack of work ethic, the show gets blocked.
Facebook. Here's what, ha- here's what happened. I'm going to get on there right now, and I'm going to look at something that really pissed me off. So I'm, remember, I'm blocked, right? I'm blocked. I can't get on the, the uh, group pages to promote you guys. So there's no need to do a friggin' show because, number one, you guys don't promote it. Number two, Facebook won't allow me to promote it, right? So it's, it's a wasted effort, uh, a total wasted effort. But here's what I get. I did a show a couple of days ago. I, I don't, I'm talking about the web cameras I got and, and some of the guys I went to interview. I didn't interview them. I just recorded their music. It came out pretty cool. I did three video perspectives. It was kind of cool, right? So I put that on Facebook. You know what happens? I get this thing set. I, I get, by the way, I get instead of when I'm with Phil and Rock Salad and Phil promotes the show, I get like 4,000 viewers, right? 4,000, not 40,000, not 400,000. Because like I said, the bands don't promote the friggin' show. So of course it doesn't grow. It grows based upon the constant reinforcement that Phil have to, and I have to put behind it because you guys don't lift a finger to friggin' do it, right? So then... So I, I, I get on, so when I, by the way, when I do it alone outside of Phil helping me out, I get maybe about 1,500 viewers, 1,500, not 15,000, not 150,000, because even when I do shit on my own, you guys that maybe have an interest in the show don't give a friggin' fuck about the show to lift a finger to help out either. So, but now, okay, so now I'm blocked and I can't promote the show. So now you know what I get? I get maybe 40. I get like four. I did a video. With, like I said, I did one with the perspective of the three cameras interviewing three phase. Uh, not interviewing. Let me take that back. I'm sick and tired of doing interviews because my, my ego is, uh, yeah, my freaking ego. I have no fucking ego. I'm 59 years old. What kind of ego do you think I could possibly have doing a show? It's not going to go anywhere. Even if it got anywhere, it's to benefit you guys. Don't you guys know that? I can't believe you guys don't know that. Fuck, it irritates me that you guys don't realize that by now. So when I do it on Facebook now, like I had three phase on, that I did that recording event, I got 40, 40, 50 viewers, 40 to 50 because I can't promote it, right? I can't boost it. I can't, no, I, I can't boost it. I can't promote it. I can't get on the Facebook group pages and say, check out three phase. They were on the show. Check them out. I did three camera recording. It came out. I can't do that. I can't do it. I'm blocked, right? So you know what I get from Facebook? I get, let me, let me see if I can read it to you guys. Because I want to read it. I'm pissed. How do you do? I am a new country song. I got 400 words and I am three minutes long. I got a reggae beat and some dobro guitars. You're going to hear me on the radio at concerts and other musical venues. Ain't no law says I have to rhyme. They call me country music, but I sound a lot like rap. They mixed us both together, and your papa calls it crap. I talk about some fishing in the dark with nitty gritty. I talk about some tank tops and some pointy little cowboy boots. Look at the points on them Tony Llamas. Silver tips. I was written by a stud wearing jeans and a baseball cap. He wears a cowboy shirt and a leather guitar strap. He wrote me by the river on the tailgate of his truck, where he takes all his women to get drunk and then to dance and have some stimulating conversation. He sings about drinking and just having lots of fun. He never sings about a job. I guess he don't need one. He parties on his pontoon with some girls who look so fine. I don't know how he bought it, cause he hasn't got a bank account that I'm aware of. No need to scratch. He sings about driving down the dirt road to the lake with this chick sitting on his lap and he can't reach the brake. At 90 miles an hour, they are going to his aunties. He reaches down and slides his hand into her silky purse for a tic-tac. What did you think he was reaching for? Get your mind out of the gutter. Now don't be getting too attached. I won't be around for long. There ain't much life expectancy for a modern country song. Another country boy will write another drinking tune. Tomorrow there'll be 20 more just like me before close of business at 4 p.m. Three, 20 more. 
I don't know where I came from, but I know one thing is true. Like every other fad, my death is overdue. Like disco balls, platform shoes, and Donna Summer hits. I'll soon be gone and be replaced by some other crazy artists and musical styles. Maybe next time they'll mix country with the stones and call it sympathy for the hearing. go and if you guys don't believe it i'm gonna flip the freaking camera so you can see it oh it's gonna be in reverse isn't it oh no here we go here we go your boost your post is getting more engagements than 75 percent of i gotta it's hard to see because i got the I'm, i've got that your post is getting more than more engagements than 75 percent of your recent post boost it to reach more people in phoenix uh and i can reach people outside of phoenix if i wanted to but the point is let me flip it back over here you saw that right it's a request for me to spend money to boost the fucking show right now now li listen to this so like i said when i was in, in reviewing when i was recording three phase this weekend with the three cameras and i i took the effort to put it on facebook Instead of getting, when I'm with Phil and Rock Solid Entertainment, 4,000 to 5,000 viewers, because Phil and I were not blocked before. Now we're blocked, so now Phil and I can't do a friggin' fuck about anything on Facebook. And then when I do it on my own, I was getting 1,500 viewers, and now I can't do shit with that because I'm blocked by Facebook. And that, so now I'm doing three phase. I did, did that recording session. I stuck it on Facebook without any effort or ability to promote it because I can't get on the groups to do it. So I get 40 to 50, 55 viewers, right? A significantly less than 1,500, significantly less than 5,000. I get 45 to 50. And then I get these bastards at Facebook telling me that I could boost it. I could boost it. I get, it's, it's getting better than 75% of my recent posts. It's getting fucking 500% less views because you guys blocked me. It's insane to tell me that I can get more views than 75%. I get more views, I can get 75% more views if I boost it, but it's still fucking 500% less than before you guys fucked around with me. Uh, insane. It's insane. I, I, I can't believe this. Like, like I said, I, I get, isn't that, it, that, that'll just ratchet you up to the next friggin' level. To have Facebook tell me that I can get 75, I, my, that my current show, the one that got 45 views or 50 views is doing better than 75% of my recent post. No, it's not. Go back in history by three weeks ago when I had 5,000 views. Go back to that. Fuck, I'm not getting better results. And then, then you know, I, I got on there when I got blocked by Facebook. I got on there and I, I said, please check out the show. Why do you call it spam? And I was polite about it. I said, it's not spam. And I gave a logical scenario. It was polite. Didn't use any language. And the, they, do they review it? No. They're like invisible fuckers. They live behind the technology they created. They're out smoking J's or something. You mind if I do a J? They're not, they don't give a crap about anything unless it's a political concern that they're vastly opposed to. They're all over the fucking place with that, right? Blocking that shit. So, you know, I, this is what irritates me. You know, if, if Facebook was a significant business and you people live by it, you're sending your pictures of fucking pizzas that you ate today, living by it, you're crossing the street on your Facebook, you're going to get ran over by cars. And if you're stupid enough to do that, then you should be run over by cars because you're brain dead anyway for being on Facebook when you're crossing streets. But, you know, Facebook is, is just friggin' invisible. They're not there. They'll, they'll block you. They'll use the technology. I'm sure they're using the technology to block you. And then when you try to create a business environment with the guys, like calling up a company and getting 20, you know, press one for this, press two for this. Aren't you sick of that? I mean, most of you guys are too friggin' young to realize that we used to call people up at a phone number. And people used to answer the phone and used to talk to them and say, look, and then they would transfer you to the appropriate department because you explained to them where you wanted to go. Now it's like press one for this, two for this, three for this. Then you press two and you get another series of voicemails. You press that and you can't hit even double zero anymore to get an operator. They, they scam that out. It's gone. 
So, you know, I, I put this commentary out to Facebook and, and, you know, you would think that they would come back at me and say, here's the reason why you're blocked. Here's a suggestion of not of working the scenario so you don't get blocked. Here's what a boost can do for you. Give me some, throw me a friggin' bone. Who said that? Austin Powers? Throw me a friggin' bone. Throw me a friggin' bone here. Tell me how to use the product properly. Tell me how to use it. And then, then maybe I will spend money with you dudes. But I'm not going to spend money. When the last time I, I did this, I got on Facebook and I tried to get, what is it? Facebook is followers, Twitter. No, Twitter are followers. Facebooks are likes. I tried to get more likes by spending money on Facebook. I tried to spend the money to get likes on Facebook. You know what I got? I got a bunch of friggin' people, and it's not an exaggeration. I got them from Ethiopia, Pakistan, Indonesia, friggin' places. The people are not going to listen to this show. Yet my money spent was fake. Now, like I said, I had a goal to get this show on Sirius. I fucking dropped that because the bands obviously don't want to be on Sirius because they don't lift a finger to help the show out. So fuck that. I'm done with that goal. It's a goal that I, I can't achieve because no one else wants to achieve it with me. I can't do this on my own. I told you guys that. So, uh, so you know, I, if I went to Facebook and I said, or I went to uh, Sirius, I said, check out Facebook. I got all these likes. They're going to look at it. They're going to say, Dave. A million of them are from Pakistan. A million of them are from Ethiopia. They want to learn how to eat food, grow food, eat vegetables, swipe the flies off their faces. That's what's interesting to them. They're not interested in a fucking show on Sirius XM. How'd you get these likes? How'd you get them? Did you buy them? And the answer would be, I bought them from Facebook. But they're useless. So teach me how to do things the right way. And maybe you'll have fucking lunatics like me spending money. Yeah, because you know that the whole thing, it, it's supposed to be a business, right? Is it a business? It's a piece of free technology. I don't know if I'm talking to a piece of hardware every single time, because if you reach out to them, there's zero response, no response at all. And then what? They, they, the automated response they tell me is they say that this, the current show I did, like I said, I did it two nights ago. I'm blocked. I can't promote it. Phil can't promote the show. I went from 5,000 viewers with Phil and me kicking ass promoting the show. The bands didn't do it. If you did, I maybe would have been up to 20,000. And maybe Facebook would have had their automated process going and said, this is a legitimate service. Evidently, people care about it because it's not just two people caring about it. It's a bunch of people. So I get blocked. So I went from 5,000 using Phil and me to when I did my show alone without Phil trying to help me out and busting his ass to help out the show. I would get like 1,500 viewers. Now I'm down to 45 viewers. And Facebook sends me this thing saying that my current engagement, the, the post I just did two days ago, I had more than 75% of my recent post. What? I've got 1,000% less than my post three weeks ago. I went down from 5,000 to 45. And they're telling me I'm doing better than 75. I'm bullshit. Come on! I'm not, I wasn't born, I was born in the morning. I wasn't born yesterday morning. Fuck these people.
And I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this rant that I'm doing right now, and I'm going to boost it. I'm going to spend money and boost it and see if they fucking cut the, the rant off because it's what ran against them. So it'd be funny. I spend money to talk about how pissed off I am at Facebook. I spend money on Facebook to promote the show, illustrating how pissed off I am. And I, I'm interested to see if they'll block it. I want to see if they'll block the post and block the, I wonder if they'll steal my money. Just take the fucking money. And then if, you know, if they're claiming I'm going to have access to 6,500 or that's what they say, get access to more people, 7,500 or 6,500. I wonder if I monitor that. Of course I can't, right? Because they got that technology sealed off. There's no way I can go in the back door and check out the, uh, the honesty that they really sent it out to 6,500 people when I spend $20 or 30 bucks or 40 bucks. Maybe I'll spend a fucking hundred bucks and have it sent out to 65,000 people. I want, I would like to see the statistics of that. And these guys, they, I want, I want to see the statistics. Fucking give you statistics. What? We don't have the capability to do that. We're Facebook. We don't have any brain power. We don't know how to do that. Shit, man. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of the technology today overwhelming and, and convincing people that it's a legitimate service. I, I'm convinced about nothing. I'm convinced about nothing. Like I said, I was on Facebook doing pretty well. 5,000 viewers to the show. Not because of me, because of the kick-ass job that Rock Salad Talent and Entertainment did and Phil Taylor specifically. Together, him and I were able to pull in 5,000 viewers to check out the bands on the show when the bands didn't lift a fucking finger to do anything on their own to promote the show that they were on. So they wasted their time. Let's say they wasted my time. Why would they come on my stupid show for that hour when they're not going to say that they were on the show? Why would they do that? Why would they waste their time as well? So as a result, Facebook sees me and Phil promoting the fuck out of it, and it gets blocked because it looks like spam. It looks like only two people... An entire planet had an interest in this product. And as a result of us being every place, they decided these guys are spammers. They are two people. That's it. No one else gives a crap about them. Two people alone are interested in the product. So let's ban them. So I'm banned. And then I'm banned. So, uh, and then I get this fucking irritating thing from Facebook telling me that my most recent engagement, which had 42 or 45 views compared to, remember, 5,000 views with Phil, I get this thing saying that my most recent engagement got 75% more recent, more views than my recent post. Than my recent post of what? Like, like when I had 20 views, I think about a week ago, I had 20 views. So yeah, I had, I had double that. I had a hundred percent more. I went up to 45. I was at 20. So I was doing a hundred percent better. But look, three weeks ago, I was fucking doing a miraculously worse because you guys stepped in and cut me off at the head. Damn these people or something. They're friggin' arrogant.
today, they're more arrogant than they used to be. They really are. And you guys tell people all the time that people are arrogant on the East Coast. You know why? I got to tell you something. We're not arrogant. We're direct. We're in your face. We're direct. I don't understand why the whole fucking rest of the country isn't direct as, as most of the East Coast, New York City, Philadelphia people are. Maybe we get more shit done. Maybe that's why Trump's in there. So he's direct. He's uncensored. He's direct. He's cut off by Facebook, except for the people that want to get on Hillary Clinton's breast and suck on it. So you love those guys, right? You love the liberal friggin' guys. You get Trump in there who's going to speak his mind uncensored. And you guys friggin' censor the guy, right? You censor me. I went down from 5,000 views down to 42, and you're telling me I'm doing great. 75% increase. Spend money. That's what the fucking commercial. They're spamming me. They're spamming me. They sent me a spam telling me a complete lie, a complete infactuality, telling me 75% improvement over my recent post. Yeah, a recent post. I wasn't on two days ago. So they're what? They're saying Dave had zero engagements because he wasn't on two days ago. So he had an infinite growth. He's up to 45. Going from zero to 45, if you remember your mathematics, you can't multiply anything by zero and get a value. So I went up exponentially, infinitely, infinitely. I'm infinitely growing. If I had one and I went up to 45, then you could do a calculation. I went from 20. I think I had like 22 views like four days ago. And now I'm up to 45. So I went up, I went up double. 100% growth. 100%. They, they take it and they say, Dave, 100% growth. Spend money. They don't reflect back to three weeks ago and I had 5,000 views and now I got 45. And the, the thing should say, Dave, you went down by 500%. Sorry, we did it to you. You're restored. Fuck no. Just screw me and then ask me to give them money. And like I said, I gave them money before to get more likes. And I get likes from people in Cambodia, Ethiopia, Pakistan. And if I took that and I went to SiriusXM, I said, look, I got all these likes. They're going to look at the likes. They're going to say, Pakistan, Ethiopia? Dave, we're a U.S. company. SiriusXM, we're, we're trying to get subscription in the U.S. You got all these people in Cambodia, Ethiopia. You think they're going to listen? You think they're listening ever? You think they have ever listened to this show? So, it, it, man, so I get so pissed off. I get pissed off at I get pissed off at you guys and bands that are talking about the sincerity and the loyalty of your fans. I think they're more loyal in the UK because they are really following Paradox UK like they should be, and that they're entitled to being followed. I think you people in the United States, you fans in the United States, you're all on your fucking cell phones sending pictures of pizza. Listen to some music when you find a band that you like. You know what? Don't go to Reverb Nation and SoundCloud and get the music for free. And then what happens when they start saying, you know, thanks a lot for following us. Now we're on iTunes with a 90 cent, 99 cent download. Please get, get our download for 99 cents. Everyone fucking disappears. The fans are like Trump says. Fake news? It's fake fans. You guys are fake fans. You're phony fans. Don't give me the bullshit that you aren't because I don't see enough of you in the clubs you, you, got, you got your cell phone. You got all the music of the bands on your cell phone that you play in your car. And then when they're playing local where you can go and spend 10 bucks, 15 bucks to see them, do you go? No. Do you go to iTunes and get their fresh new music that you know is now on iTunes instead of on that friggin' show, site that I hate, Reverb Nation and SoundCloud, which get them nothing. Gets them nothing. I slammed the desk here because I'm pissed. Gets them nothing. Gets them nothing at all. And then they're on iTunes now asking you guys to pay 99 cents for a download. How much is 99 cents? God damn, how much is 99 cents? Pay the 99 cents. Go to their gig. Tell them you appreciate them by being at their gig. Prove it to them. Go to their merch booth. Buy a merch. Fuck. Man, you guys irritate me. The fans irritate me too. The bands that are so stupid to not make the, the music payable and buyable is stupid and irritating. And the fact that the bands come on my show and don't promote the show. Don't stop coming on the show. You don't have to stop now because there is no more fucking show. I don't believe you guys. The stupidity, the, the continual monopoly, the domino effect of stupidity. It's incredible. 
Some people are listening. I can't believe it. Share it. You, how many people are listening here? Two. That's pathetic. I hope the two of you are sharing the show. Are you? Are you sharing the show? Are you sharing the frustration that someone on Facebook is having? Are you sharing me talking about the bands I'm frustrated with? Are you a fan that is not going to share it because I'm talking about you? Is that what's going on here? You're not going to share it because you know that I'm reaming out you. Because you pretend to like a band. Whatever band it is. Whatever band. I'm not going to name a band because fuck it. They don't, they don't name me. So I'm not going to mention a fucking band except for Paradox UK. Because they are guys that care about everything going on. They're the only ones. There's like six or seven. Six or seven out of... I, I must have interviewed 3,000 bands. 3,000. I can honestly say out of 3,000. I can honestly say... I can think of 20 to put the effort in to promote the show. Isn't that pathetic? Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that embarrassing? It's embarrassing for me to have a show that I've been kicking ass like this. And no one cares about it. No one. Why? Are you guys making so much money in your music careers? And I know you're not because I see at the venues. You're not making big money. I see you walking out of there. The big money for you guys is, did you get paid for gas so you can flip around and go home? Man, you guys got to start thinking differently. You got to start thinking about guys like me that gave it a shot to get you guys on Sirius XM. What did I need to make that happen? I needed you guys to give a lending hand, to promote the show, to get on the groups that you're part of, the Facebook groups, to promote the show because when I do it and I'm the only one that does it, it looks like spam and I get blocked. If you did it as well as me and the thousands of other bands that are on the show did it to 100 groups, the growth would have been there, right? Because you guys all know you have the talent to be listened to. You have the talent to be listened to, but you don't do anything in an, in an opportunity to make yourselves be able to be listened to. Uh, I'm done. I'm not even going to play a fucking closer song because no one cares. If I play a closing song, why? I, if I play a closing song right now and I get off Facebook and I announce the band that was on the Facebook show I just did, they won't promote it. It'll just go right over their heads. There'll be no effort to say, if I got on there and I did, if I did 200 songs right now, back to back to back, 200 of them, I would say there'd be no more than two of you guys that would promote the show, two out of 100. So it's, it's a waste. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's not worthwhile for me to do. It's an insult to me. It's an insult to Phil Taylor. It's an insult to rock solid talent entertainment. You fans that are not getting out there enjoying the music of the songs that you put on your free, you download it for free on you on Reverb Nation and SoundCloud, yet you are not getting on there and saying, I heard these guys on Dave Darren's show. Check them out. Here's their website. Here they are on Facebook. Here they are on I help them out. Damn, how much effort does that take? How much time does that take? It takes me four hours to mix a friggin' show to have you guys on it. And how long would it take you with, with 10 fingers to get on there? Because I know you guys are all quick in typing because you're quick in putting p pictures of pizza on your cell phones and watching porn and masturbating so the fingers are well limbered and lubricated up. How long does it take you guys to get on Facebook and, and speak about the show? How long? How long does it take to do that? How much effort? Bye.